Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. Today's tutorial is behind the scenes, yellow legs and shorebird photography tips. Went down to one of my local ponds and as it dries up, there's more habitat for shorebirds to stop by and feed in. And so they're stopping by on their fall migration. They're all headed south. I'm setting up by the edge of the pond. You can notice that my tripod is lower to the ground so I can kneel behind it or sit behind it comfortably. I can get a low angled shot. I don't lay on my belly at this particular area because there's a lot of Canada geese and ducks and so the, there's a lot of uh, droppings from those birds and so it makes it difficult to lay down and get eye level with the birds. But I get as low as I can comfortably and safely. So I'm going to use the 600 millimeter lens and a 1.4 extender. I'm choosing to use the Canon 5D Mark IV because I want to shoot a little bit of video today. This is the third day that I've been at this location and so I've gotten a lot of great still shots. I would use the 7D Mark II if I wanted more reach with the birds, but I'm, I want to use the uh, video capabilities of the Canon 5D Mark, Mark IV. So the other thing I just did was I put on a lens hood and I use the lens coat travel lens hood because it just doesn't take up as much room in my camera bag. It's very light and it folds flat. So that's a really uh, useful tool for me. So I'm going to pack up and I'm going to head over to the ponds. So you'll notice that I'm kneeling behind my camera here. I'm not getting super low, but I'm kneeling behind the camera. I'm pretty comfortable. I've got the knee pads on, and this is the kind of shot that I'm getting in this situation. Greater yellow legs kind of standing on this rock, doing some preening and stuff. Here I'm sitting behind the tripod. The bird's calm, so I'm gonna get lots of shots of him. He's preening, he's doing wing stretches. So I just sit down and take as many pictures as I want. Here I'm trying to get a little bit lower, so I've moved the tripod down a little bit so I can get closer to eye level with the bird. And a long-billed dowager walks by. Long-billed dowagers are unusual in these ponds. This is a breeding plumage bird and it's migrating south. It's probably just gonna stop at the pond for a few days, but there were three of them and it was kind of special. It was pretty exciting to see these and to photograph these birds. So while photographing the greater yellow legs, this killdeer came up and started harassing it, pushed it off the rock, and now they're kind of uh, in a tussle on the shore. It was pretty interesting behavior. Just a couple of short video clips here. This is a greater yellow legs preening. It's uh, pretty comfortable in front of us. This next clip is a adult greater yellow legs and it's coughing up a pellet. They do this at, just like owls and other raptors do this. They cough up these pellets. Here it is in slow motion. I know it's a little bit gross, but it's nature. This is how they deal with things. These yellow legs are always really active. They're always doing something. They're flying around. They're wing stretching. They're preening. They're pretty cool birds, and they're, they're doing a lot of different things out there. So lots of behavior shots. This is a western sandpiper. This is a juvenile bird, and it flew in. It's on its southbound migration. And it just uh, was there for a few minutes. We were able to get a few shots of it. This is a spotted sandpiper, and it's a, a juvenile bird. This was a chick just a couple of weeks ago. And the next image, you can see that it still has some downy feathers on the side of its neck. And so here's a bird that was born at this pond. There were three families there this summer. It was a pretty exciting summer photographing those three families. We have a lot of lesser yellow legs this year. This is a juvenile bird. They're smaller than the greater yellow legs, probably by four inches or so. Pretty interesting birds, shorter bills, just a smaller version of the greater yellow legs. And uh, killdeer just flew by and this guy was wondering if he should fly along with it. They're a beautiful bird. And then the nice thing about this pond is that it gets these great reflections of golden and green colors behind it. So it's a great, great place for photography. Hey, so here's a picture of my tripod. Just wanted to point out that whenever I'm in a sandy or muddy environment, I lengthen the legs of the tripod a couple of inches so that the bottom two inches of the tripod is in the mud or the sand, and then that doesn't get into the um, parts of the tripod that turn. So that's a pretty good trick. And I always wear knee pads and Gore-Tex pants when I'm uh, doing shorebird photography because I want to be able to get down low comfortably 
or sit down and sometimes there's uh, bird droppings around so it takes care of it. And you'll notice there's a little container of Perel there so that I can sanitize my hands when I get back because usually if there's a lot of bird droppings around it uh, gets in the way. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can learn more about bird photography by getting a copy of my book. It's available on Amazon, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. I would really appreciate it if you'd pick up a copy of that. You can also get it on my website at timboyerphotography.com. So give me a like, share, or subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel. I would really appreciate that, and it helps out with the search engine results so that more people can find out about these videos. Thanks a lot, and I will see you next week in the next video. Bye.